We're almost there. Episode 6. Let's go. The space station looks like it's seen better days. I love this. So this is a key factor in Star Wars, right? The the allusion to past that's gone on before without really explaining it. That's like a key factor of Star Wars that makes you remember that, oh yeah, this is like a big universe that has constantly moving parts. It will never get an explanation for that, probably. But it's just, it's just good. It makes it feel like Star Wars. He is older than you think he is if you do the math. You understand? Former people's judges. That's not saying much. Ooh. The stormtrooper wise ass. <laughs> Doesn't take long. The fellow there with the horns, that's Berg. Canto bite slot machine. Nice pre nice uh, sequel trilogy reference. Finally, a droid costume a person could fit inside. Doesn't even flinch. That wink. I like that uh, that attitude. It's a good, interesting character right off the bat. But also, um, she mentioned his armor. And I guess I really haven't talked about it. But think about the fact that he's basically... He's doing the, the Earth equivalent of like wearing priceless jewelry everywhere he goes right like no matter where he's at he's the most valuable thing in the room which it, it puts a big target on you but also it's got to feel like like come come get it like come mess with me come and take it oh the prisoner this um it just really struck me that this this group of mercenaries could like be straight out of the afro comics if you've read any of those there's a couple of team up issues where you're like oh this that's this team except different characters like same roles kind of the same makeup you know one alien one droid a couple of or a couple of aliens and a droid Before they make their jump. who's the friend they haven't said. The man wasn't taken from small bit too. All right. I... Cheeky droid. I love cheeky droids. The programming it was a little rough. How can you like trust it? Days, huh? That's a really good question about droids, because droids in Star Wars occupy this very strange place where they seem sentient, right? But they are not. They're treated as property, basically like slaves. Whereas some people treat their droids like friends, right? But droids can be reprogrammed. They can be. They can have secret programming that you never knew about in the first place. They can betray you unexpectedly, even if they are your friend. So, in Star Wars, we have all these droid characters that we care about, but... When it really comes down to it, according to the rules of the universe, you really can't ever trust a droid or catching feelings for a droid is kind of a mistake in universe because they can just, they cannot be what you think. And also their sentience is a very carefully constructed uh, mirage. Like they're not really sentient so or at least that's what they would have us believe there are some exceptions maybe from droids who haven't had their memories wiped for a long time which is in old canon how they would tell us that like r2d2 and c3po really are sentient and really have friends they're not just programmed to be friendly oh 
Oh, uh, that's freaky to see the lever move without nobody's hand on it. How come there's not a code on his weapons locker? Keep wondering. Oh my god, Gun Gungan jokes. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> Maybe should have uh, told everybody to strap in so they don't drop a baby. Shouldn't have pissed them off right before the mission started. You'll be lucky if you all make it out of this. Those droids are crazy looking. Knives aren't great against droids though. Maybe get your guns out. I would be worried about the kid a lot. Right, we're on the clock. Where's that disintegrator rifle? Oh, who are we gonna see? Are we gonna see some people here? Like some cameos? For later? Uh! Uh! Not him, of course. He died in Solo, but... Ooh. I, don't like this. I recognize that. Is it gonna release all the prisoners, like... Stereotypical style here. Hey, there we go. Ooh. If I'm then, I'd be wondering what makes me get away from this job alive. Because the man only needs the droid and the target. Man, that's some guts. You put out the blasters right now. <laughs> New Republic fleet okay. trooper. Yes. Put it down now. Easy. Is it a dead man switch? Here, just calm down. Let them all in on your Yikes. This is bad. You gotta go. That's a good idea for like a alternate universe. Vampire Twilight. This is bad. The Mando already has heat from the guild. He doesn't need heat from the New Republic as well. Why did he take this job? Well. He was good for something. I knew they had some plan about him because they were whispering to each other earlier. Oh, you better watch out. He's going to take you all out now. Because he knows the baby's on the ship and you're about to try to steal his ship. Ooh. This is going to be like a horror movie and the Mando is the monster. <laughs> They're mine now. The droid's going to be the last one standing. Nice rifle he's got there. Looks very much like an EE-3. These kooks are all crazy. Oh, you split up. You done messed up. Why did they want this guy broken out of prison so much? Now they're all, they're all one-on-one. -on -one. He can just pick them off. Is Baby Yoda going to outsmart this droid? Is it playing a game or does it know that the droid is after him? Well, this will actually be a fight then. Oh, don't waste all those rockets. Ugh. <laughs> that console is so flimsy. Ooh! Oh, nope. Not gonna work like that this time, huh? Maybe it will. <laughs> it's the second time he's killed somebody with a door in this show. Yeah. 
with the tension that's so nice. Oh yeah, that's right, there's still guard droids on board. Brought knives to uh, not a knife fight. Oh! The door opens because he wants you there. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes, I love this. He's got you. Doesn't even show us him killing them. It's straight up horror movie style. Even though he killed the rest of the team, I don't think that's how it works. No, he's going to go back to that space station and take his money. Is he straight up going to crush this droid's head? Nope. Mando got him. He took out everyone. Everyone. He took out everyone. He was never there, and they get the blame for killing that New Republic guy. He's getting his money. He's going to take this guy out for setting him up that way. Or he's gonna bring the newer he's gonna bring the new Republic distress beacon there, so they do the dirty work for him. I wonder if we're gonna see this guy again then. He's gonna get his money and then the space station's gonna get destroyed by the New Republic, so probably not. Did this guy know they were gonna betray him or not? That's the question. He definitely left the homing beacon there, so the New Republic will come and destroy the station. Never leave an enemy at your back. That's probably in Sun Tzu somewhere. Ooh! Look at this spicy number! Why'd they pay him if they were just gonna kill him anyways? Boom, 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 boom! Oh, snap! Look at that! X-Wings in the Mandalorian. Oh, Filoni. <laughs> Looks like they're launching a gunship. Better take it out. Oh my goodness. Bye. Amazing. Bye. Got paid. That was touch and go there for a minute, Mando. Oh. I told you that was a bad idea. He's getting advice from the little dude now. Never leave an enemy at your back, though. He may have got the guys at the actual space station killed, but these three are still alive. Gorgeous. Look at that shot of all that concept art. Somebody had fun making this concept art, for sure. Because you see this yoke here that's kind of like what Saw wears. They didn't end up using it, I didn't think, but it does look like the one Saw Gerrera wears. And this Twi'lek in the concept art has like a little bit more, I wouldn't, mm, I wouldn't say traditional, but a little bit less uh, unique than what she was wearing. That gun, we never got to see that gunship in action. That was a very good episode. A lot of characters, a very nice like little rogues gallery there to get us through the episode. We saw kind of how he'll handle situations. I loved the part of the episode where he's hunting them down. It was, you know, partially Batman, partially Predator. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So good. I can't, I don't have anything bad to say about this episode. It was good.